They made the semifinals in Swift Current, Assiniboine, and the Granite Club, the Mother Club Classic, and made the quarterfinals in Morris, and the MCT Championships. Also made the, uh, the quarterfinals of the pre-trials, where they lost to Glenn Howard. So, an excellent year for this Manitoba team. So that shot from Trevor Johnson curls a mile out the other side of this center guard, an opportunity here for Kyle Deering to make a double. Uh, I don't think it's gonna do much. And if they're yeah. lucky, you might get the double and roll here. Just, just missing the line call on that one. So it is still Ryland Kleider lying shot stone very close from Kyle Deering. Why? Because you're always going to come to here. Okay. If you like that, I don't, that's fine. I think we have to play this one. Like the speed should be fine over here. Mine's really good. Good out, guys. Just bite the eight. Mine's good. Mine's bite good. the eight. Mine's really good. Mine's tight, I think. Little tight. Little tight, boys. Might over curl here, too. Just high in the house. Full, full 12. Full, over, full 12. Losing line. That's it. Full 12. That's it. Losing line. Losing line. So this one curling quite a bit too for Joshua Mattern and will poke out the other side of the center guard as well. So can ice a bit more on that side though. Ice is really curling. The rocks were papered last night before the finals today. So we have seen a little bit more curl, though although maybe not as dramatic as we're seeing so far in this men's final. Although that does take into consideration that the center guard is quite high, so it's always going to be a challenge to bury behind a center guard that high. Please. Oh. So Tanner Lott just no. No. Kyle. looking Kyle. for a straight takeout here. Really go, Kyle. Kyle Deering trying to bring this one over. Would love for this red to stick around. <laughs> will it spin back? It will not. So it is now Kleider sitting two. That rock just not quite curling up enough for Tanner Lott. So we'll see if the third time's the charm here for Team Kleider trying to get behind this center. Line's good. Line's good. Okay, you got some room. Room, a room. A lot more room right now. Whoa, 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 got a curl. Really got a curl. Yeah, Trev's rock. It should come in, though. No. Hard Trev. Hard Trev, hard Trev. Hard Trev, hard! Hard! Hard Trev, hard! Hard, guys! Hard. Hard. hard, 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 hard. Okay, good sweep. And doesn't quite get buried and doesn't quite get into the eight foot. It's not quite that quick there. Like So still an opportunity yeah, here yeah. for Team Manitoba, even though Saskatchewan is lying three, they're all in the 12 foot. So a chance now for Tanner Lott to make a hit and roll behind those corner guards. Oh. oh no. Close. No, 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 no. Close. Close. Yes. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Hard. Yep. Whoa. Hard. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Should be good. Needs that to stop. And it will stop in time, I believe. So Manitoba is sitting shot, buried behind the corner guards. So decision time here for Ryland Kleider. I don't think there's really anywhere for them to hide behind that center guard. They might have to come around the corner themselves here. We're in a good spot, though. We're in a good spot, the run's tough. Yeah. They're over curling a lot. 
And that is indeed what Clyder and Mattern have decided. It shouldn't get close to that. It's almost So just going to try and draw around this corner guard here. So it's Manitoba sitting one with the hammer behind a corner guard. Rylan Kleider going to try to chase Line's after good. it here. Oh, better than that. Line's good, guys. Line's good. Line's really good. Line's real good. Deep top eight, guys. Johnson and Tyon have been Line's on it good. right out of the hand. Line's good. Hard, right, guys. Line's perfect, boys. He's got a curl, Jace. Got to get it there hard, for hard, shot. Hard. Yeah, still got it. You just got to go hard, 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 hard. hard, hard, hard. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good shot. Good sweep. Really good sweeping from Johnson and Tyon from tip to tail, but I don't think that they got it there for shot. So we've seen Team Saskatchewan come up light a few times on draws now. And it is Manitoba continuing to lie one with the hammer. So Colton Lott going to try to draw around this high center guard. Objective here is just to make sure that they get second shot. Easy then, just top eight. Just bite eight foot. Easy. Line's really good. Easy, it's over curl. Line's really good. It's over Hit curl it if you can. No, line's good. Just bite eight. Go deeper than biting eight, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Off it. Good. Really good spot there from Colton Lott. He seems unhappy with it, but I mean, that's pretty much dead buried. I mean, the ice does curl enough here that it will give Kleider the opportunity to hit and roll over to that red one on the side. But not easy. You got to get pretty close to that center guard. And if you ever tip the center guard, you're giving up threes. So. Should just be a little patient over the hand and then kind of finish up the ones. Pretty, pretty good speed here, too. So big shot here for Rylan Kleider, his final in the second. Facing Toom needs to make a delicate hit and roll. Clean. Clean. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Yep. yep. Whoa. Yep. Oh. Yes. Yep. Yes. Whoa. 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 Close. Whoa. 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 Close. Trev. Trev. Go, Trev. Hard, go, Trev. Go, 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 go. We need this one to stick around. And they will get a fortuitous roll onto their own in the back 12 foot. And so it is Saskatchewan lying one.
So they were looking at maybe trying to play this in off on the outside yeah. here on their own red. I just think, first of all, incredibly difficult shot. Degree of difficulty on that one is extremely high. Second of all, chances are good you're not even getting shot off of it. There's just that, just too many yellow counters around. You'd have to almost get inside of that yellow seven, so. Ryland Kleider shot good enough, and Colton Lott will be forced to draw for his single. I thought that was more, guys. Easy. We're running right now. Easy, easy, easy. I think it's there, guys. Let it curl. Curling now. Pronti. Time's good. And no mistake made there by Colton Lott. So it will be a single point for the team from Manitoba. We are knotted up at one. Clyder will have the hammer once again when we come back. You're watching the SGI Canada Best of the West. Our roots might be simple, but our methods are far from it. Canadian dairy farmers proudly meet some of the most stringent standards in the world, including the 42 food safety requirements set by our national quality program. We do it by working hard and by ensuring that every cow is monitored every day so that we can bring you high quality milk. High Canadian standards. That's dairy farming forward. Saskatchewan, you know Sastel because we're everywhere. Because being everywhere keeps us connected to you. With Sastel sponsorships, we get to be part of your community. We're here with you and we're here for you. It's easy to get started. All you need to do is apply. Sastel cares. Always has, always will. To apply for sponsorship, visit sastel.com slash sponsorships. Curling fans, welcome back to the men's final here in Saskatoon, the Nutana Curling Club, home of the SGI Canada Best of the West, presented by Sask Milk. John Cullen with you once again as we're taking in this game between Team Manitoba 1 and Team Saskatchewan 1. And it's also 1-1. One, one. Both teams forced into singles by nice shots from the skip. Colton Lott making a great double in the first end to force Ryland Kleider to one, and then Kleider making a nice hit and roll on his last one in the second, and so we're all tied up at one. And we'll see if Kleider can get things going again here with the hammer. Both these teams quite young. Of course, this is a U30 event, and. They've all had a lot of success in juniors. Ryland Kleider just with a extremely dominant run in Saskatchewan, winning three Saskatchewan U18 titles in a row and then four Saskatchewan U21 titles in a row. So just had a stranglehold on the province from 2015 to 2020. Won a couple Canadian junior bronzes in the process. Ryland Kleider also won world junior golds as the alternate for Tyler Tardy back in 2019. And speaking of winning World Junior Gold as an alternate, Colton Lott did that as well for Braden Calvert in 2015. Lott went to the Canadian Juniors another two times after that with Matt Dunstone. Deering joined him in 2016. Deering also has uh, Canada Winter Games bronze, along with Colton Lott, and a couple university medals as well. And some curling fans might be more familiar with Colton's mixed doubles career with his on-ice and off-ice partner, Kadriana Sahedic. They came second to Anerson and Brad Guju in the bubble in 2019. 
2021. Also won silver in 2018 and a bronze in 2019. So Colton Lott, a great player in the twos and fours game. So two very accomplished teams out here on the ice, and we've seen that so far with the shot making. It's been outstanding. As Matthew Tyon here looking for another freeze. It's so a nice shot there from Tyon. And Kyle Deering will try to follow suit here. So this stone from Deering just a little bit heavy. And much like how Clyder got started in the first end, they're gonna have an opportunity to get started again here in the third, thanks to a Kyle Deering miscue. So Trevor Johnson looking to put another one in here. Yep, yep, gotta go line two then. Yep. Three. Hog line. Three. 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 Uh, I don't know. Just let it curl at that time. And Johnson pulling the string, so this has some some echoes of the first end. Kyle Deering with a miss and Trevor Johnson missing short. But it is still. Manitoba lying the one here without the hammer. I thought I thought light I thought light out here. I'll give you a little more. So Deering will once again look for the freeze here. So a little heavy there from Kyle Deering yeah. again. You can see the sweepers weren't really too sure what to do with it, but it ended up in a pretty good spot. Three quarters. That red stone in the forefoot, or sorry, in the button area, always jamming on that back yellow. So Ryland Clyde are gonna pull the shoot here and ask Trevor Johnson for a double peel. won't get enough of that yellow, so leaves his own yellow up front, and it's Manitoba lying two. So we get a look at some of the Saskatchewan fans in the crowd. Sorry, Manitoba only lying one here, but the one in a pretty darn good spot. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like he's running. He's gonna run it. If it's I'm frozen, oh, that's still going. He nuts it, then it was two, two on two. That's that was another thing that I was seeing. No, I don't. I don't mind it. Even if it comes here, it's fine. Not, not the worst. Thanks. 
I actually don't mind this. I don't mind hooking them. Uh, just tight. Yeah, just outside the house is fine. So after a quick conversation with Kyle Deering, it's decided that they'd like Tanner a lot to guard here. Colton saying that even if this one slides into the rings a little bit, that's not bad either. They just want to try and stagger those guards so there's no immediate run back for Kleider. Where? Easy. Easy. Starting to curl. Mine's good. Curling now. Mine's good. Easy, easy. Got to finish a little bit. Yeah, finish. Finish a little bit. Oh. And nice shot there from Tanner Lott. So Joshua Mattern will have to try to make a double run into the pile here. So important shot here for Matter and would love to get some of the stuff in the yep. house moving. Yep. Fire. Fire. And that'll do it. The roar from the crowd will tell you everything you need to know. Very nice shot from Joshua Matter and getting those two reds out of the forefoot. And it is now Saskatchewan lying one. Now this shouldn't be too hard for Tanner Lott to get at. Can see about half of it from the hack. Yep, yep. Hard. Kyle Deering picking this one up Hard. early. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looks Girl. It's straightening out here straight now. Girl! Straight, 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 straight. Hard. And that just didn't have enough weight. So you could just chase it with too. Yeah, that, that's it's Manitoba lying two, but yeah, chance for Saskatchewan to make the chase around the guard here. Okay. You guys like this? I think so. So like similar ball, spot. Actually? Yeah. 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 I Tanner like Lotz I like did over curl slightly, so Joshua Mattern will be able to see a little less of this from the hack, but still certainly a makeable shot. And they're going to try and roll away from the guard here. Then, yep. Then. Yep. Real hard, guys. Hard. Hard. This also hard, looks Matt, like hard. it might be a little soft hard. for weight. Real hard, man. Hard. Really hard. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I don't know. And that is very soft. All right. It's not bad. Bumping that into being second shot. So. Now, a little bit of trouble here for Saskatchewan, especially if Colton Lott can draw another one in here. Not sure what happened. Both Lott and Mattern coming up quite light in that spot. They were both trying to throw hack. I think in Mattern's case, he was actually trying to throw like hack plus, and it came down quite a bit. So I don't know if it's a, a tricky spot or the players think the ice is a little quicker than it is, but. This is a great opportunity and here for Manitoba. There for a while. Yeah, all right. You like this? Kind of tuck, kind of tuck around. I think like half of the floor. Yeah, and it, you know what, it comes up shy. 
So ideally, if you're Colton Lott, you'd love to come around both of those yellows and just sit top four, choking off those two reds. But as you heard him say in the hack, even a little light here is not bad. So yeah, you gotta go. You gotta go. we'll see what Colton Lott yeah. has here. Oh, line's good. Yes. He thinks it's light Hard. out of his hand. Line's good. Hard! Easy. Right here. Right here. Hard line. Come on, guys. Hard line! Funky and Deering. Hard! Really giving on, this a good scrub. Going. Trying to get it there for third shot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. And it just won't quite get there for them. What kind of weight is it? Yeah, it's how, not very heavy. You and and now perhaps an opportunity. I don't know if uh, Ryland Kleider can see enough of this to make great. the double. Okay. It's very tough to get to get there with more weight than that. Well, like what turn you want to throw? In turn. Yeah. You, are you, you can't get. Like yeah, you're gonna hit a, thin, night, yeah. thin, a thin half at the best. Yeah. Which is basically like almost one o'clock. Yeah. You could play like hack, and then if you catch it good enough, you should push it. Yeah. If you hit a thin quarter, I guess right? Just, you just like take it to eight, basically. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's only going to go to the eight plus two. I've seen like, I've 12? seen at least twelve though. Okay, let's go twelve then. Okay. Skin of mint's pretty good. You like that? It looks like mint to me. It looks close. That's close. I like it. So the plan yeah. here for Rylan well, Kleider is to even if we just push the other red in the old play about yeah. hack weight. <laughs> Just oh, even maybe crazy. curl past that top red a little bit and then use the red rock oh, to sort of smudge into the button area, push the red rock out into the open. It should be close. That's the game plan here for Kleider. Yeah, I think Even if up out in the open, it's good too. I don't think he'll be able to throw enough weight to get them both out of the house, but just if he can move the one in the forefoot out into the open, Colton Lott's going to have a tough choice to make, so... Big shot coming up here for Ryland Kleider. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Close. Whoa. 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 Matt. Hard, Matt. Hard, Matt. Hard for a roll. Hard, Matt. Hard. Hard, Matt. Hard, hard, hard. Hard, hard, hard. hard. Any roll. Hard. Any hard. And they won't quite get to the inside of it, so Manitoba still lying one without the hammer. Yeah. I was thinking to drop it in here. I thought maybe he was drawing that. Then I'm giving him the, uh, give him the force. <laughs> like he can hit the outside of that. He can, he can, he can, he can top this guy. Yeah, he can top. He, he can top it. Okay. Yeah, no. Like it's not more. He's never getting more than two, right? This shot's never moved more than two. You can't, you can't get it to here. But it hooks. Yeah. You could just guard this. Yeah. Guard seven. Just play that shot. Yeah. Or just make the draw. It's, it's, like, it's overburied from the hack. Yeah, I, I think we just... We might make things easier if we do anything over here. I mean, we don't... You want to throw it here? Yeah, I'm fine with it. So they were thinking about maybe playing the draw just to come in and sit right there. But the worry is that if they do that, then Ryland Kleider might have this slash here. And you heard Colton Lott say that we might actually make their shot easier for them. And you might even bring a potential three into play if you do that. So they've decided that they're just gonna guard that slash and let Ryland Kleider just draw for his single. There was some worry that maybe Kleider would be able to come around all of this with the outturn and tap the red shot stone out to score four, but I think it's well over buried and I'm not sure that that shot's there, so. The guard is the call. Final stone here for Colton Lott. Yep, yep. Just over. Oh, just Whoa. over. Just over. Just oh, over. Just over. Big. Just over. 
This one is over curling. They need it to stop. <laughs> and it will not stop in time. So Ryland Kleider is going to have a little slash here. And he could score three. We've seen that happen to a few teams out here this weekend. It just, when you have less weight, it really curls. And that's what happened there to Colton Lott. Curled a mile. I threw, I threw a hit here a couple of ago and with 11, that got close to no. So this shot is for at least three, might even be for four if you could save the shooter. So this could be a real turning point in the game here if Kleider can make this. Jay, just take an inch less. Uh, even, even a bigger inch. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I agree. I think in this spot. Oh. Just a nice thing. So final stone for Ryland Kleider. A chance to put three or four on the board if he makes it. Yep. Yep. Hard Whoa. then. Hard. Yep. Trevor Johnson on Hard. it right away. Hard. Needs to hold Hard. it. This is Hard. curling. Hard. Hard. This Hard. is going to be Hard. close. Hard. Can Hard. he hold it? Sit. Sit. And it will sit in time for three. Phenomenal sweep from Trevor Johnson and a great shot from Ryland Kleider. And the cheers of the Saskatchewan faithful tell you it all. Four to one lead for Saskatchewan. Manitoba will have the hammer when we come back. You're watching the SGI Canada Best of the West. simple, but our methods are far from it. Canadian dairy farmers proudly meet some of the most stringent standards in the world, including the 42 food safety requirements set by our national quality program. We do it by working hard and by ensuring that every cow is monitored every day so that we can bring you high quality milk. High Canadian standards. That's dairy farming forward. Welcome back, curling fans. John Cullen here with you once again for this men's final here in Saskatoon. The first annual under 30 best of the West. It's Saskatchewan, it's Manitoba, and Rylan Kleider capitalizing on a Colton Lott mistake. Puts three up on the board in the third. And so we'll see if Manitoba can find their way back into the game here. Another great commercial there too. This event sponsored by Sask Milk. They said they check every cow every day. I kind of want to be the guy that does that. That sounds like a fun job. Just walk in and be like, hey, what's up, cow? How are you doing? And the cow's like, yeah, I'm good. And I'm like, cool. Halfway or no? No. Just leave it high. Leave it high. Yeah. So Emerson Klimke gets the corner guard up, and Matthew Tyon will throw up a center here. Kate, make it a three. Line's good for a three. Don't, My man Daryl here just handing Line's me some stat three. information, and okay, Trevor, it's really the back Trevor, ends here that are telling the story. Yeah. Hard, Trev. You, go you can help him, Jay. Help him. As Joshua Matter and curling 92%, the high man center. out here. Hard, Trev. Hard, Trev. Hard. 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 
and Tanner Lott curling 75, so 17% gap there, and Ryland Kleider curling 83% to Colton Lott 75, so obviously stats don't tell us everything, but the stats here have Kleider's team percentage at 80 and Lott's at 74, and that's perhaps why we see the team from the Sutherland Curling Club in the lead here. Mine's better. Where is it? Uh, I gotta get a berry then. Yep, curl it. Sure, you gotta curl it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh, oh. So that draw from Emerson Klimke just perhaps over curling a little bit. It's gonna tempt Ryland Kleider here to go after it. Up three. These shots are not easy here out in the frost. So tricky shot there for Trevor Johnson, but he makes it out in the frost. Very nice throw there from Johnson. So eight teams started this event. We're down to two. The winner of this game will take home $10,000. One of the top prizes available in curling. Really second only to the Grand Slams, as far as the check goes. It's a few, few tour events that get close, but to pocket 10K for these teams would be a huge boon. And the loser of this game picking up 5,000, so still a nice payday either way. And Kyle Deering just once again heavy with his draw weight. Cannot seem to nail it down here so far. And it is Saskatchewan sitting two without the hammer. Deering curling 54% through the first three ends. And okay. we're not used to seeing that from Kyle, forward. usually a, put another one in the house a very consistent player. Plus, we to, make go around, this, to make this, they almost have to lose this. We go around, he's, rip, he's running this. It's still gonna be, they gotta make it run double. It, yeah, it's right well. I don't you rip, draw. If you rip the corner, they're gonna come here. Kyle just talking to Colton Lott now. He's, he seems to think one of his rocks is maybe an issue. That's why he's been having issues tracking down draw weight. So we'll keep an eye on that. Some teams give their quote unquote bad rocks to the second. Some will give them to the lead. Just depends on what the team prefers. So it might be that this team gives them to Kyle Deering and he just hasn't quite been able to get a handle on it yet. Hard. Hard, Matt, hard! Top, top 12. Hard! Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. So Trevor Johnson trying to come around this center guard, but it will oh, click off and... Oh, oh, yeah. okay, it's pretty lucky. Johnson making a great shot on his first, but continuing his struggles with draw weight as well, so... Something in the, something in the air tonight for the seconds. It's close. I in the center line one myself, but was that? I was kind of thinking the center line one. I was thinking the center line one. Yeah. Okay. Three quarters, seven eighths. So you're trying to look if maybe there was a really tight port through these guards, but if there is, it is inch perfect, so. Electing for the run here is Kyle Deering. Yep. Yes. Hard. Hard, hard, hard. And he will make no it. So nice rebound shot there for Kyle Deering. Makes the run back very nicely. 
and gets rid of the first shot stone, but it is still Kleider lying one with without the hammer here in four. So Joshua Mattern looking to continue his hot start to the game with a draw around the center guard. Over curling. Doesn't have to curl or anything. It's just got to sit. Whoa. You're good. You're good. You're good. No, 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 no. On its own. Sit. It's almost over curl. Nice spot. And good shot there from Mattern. Just maybe over curling a hair at the end. So yeah, yeah, it's good. chance for Tanner Lott to chase it. Be able to curl. Hack. Yep, yes. Excellent line call there from Colton Lott. And a great throw from Tanner. So Manitoba for the first time this end is lying shot stone. Uh, what's that? I think probably the run, I, that's real tough. Hit. Run, runs probably like the run? Better. Yeah, yeah. Hit. Just a nice peel? Yeah. So Kleider considered chasing, but is instead going to go after the run back. Lead. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. 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 Yep. Yes. 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 And a nice shot from Mattern. Just a little confusion on the sweeping there. They might have been able to stick it, but still they do get rid of the shot stone and. Now it's looking like Tanner Lott will have to try to replicate this shot Trevor Johnson made a few ago. Enough for it to be the same weight. So like hack? Yeah. Like good hack. Good hack, sure. And as I said when Trevor Johnson threw it, this, this shot not as easy as it looks. Out in the frost, you don't know exactly what the ice is doing out here and they're trying to get to the inside of it so they can lie too. So very delicate shot here for Tanner Lott. Sweeper's indicating this is a little heavy. Kyle, uh, straight. I don't know. No, 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 no. Curl, curl, curl. You don't want to jam this if you can help it. Okay. And unfortunately, it does jam, but got a little roll inside, so Probably just on the side. following it for Ryland Kleider may not be that easy. Good chase, but I think that's kind of good. There's a holder now, though. So we get a look at Ryland's dad, Dean, and the Saskatchewan faithful looking on. Some guy wearing sunglasses for some reason. Maybe he was here late at the club last night, like a few of us were. I do agree there's a hole there, though. Yeah, like if, you know, if you're not perfect, he's going to have like a, he's going to have both ways out. He's coming around the center after this, though, too. Yeah, then, then you fall and freeze or something. Because he's probably got a half. What do you guys think? You guys like this? I think that's what we decided earlier in the end we're going to be doing. Yeah, I, I like it. I think if we make it, if we're here, Jay, I don't think you can get it. Okay, let's make it good then. Yeah. So the discussion between Mattern and Kleider here is revolving around whether or not they want to hit that red shot stone. Yeah. Their thought was that it's made a little bit harder now because Tanner Lott rolled in on his. And the other issue is that if you make it, yes, you're lying too, but then Colton Lott might have this exact draw that you're about to play, and he's most likely going to play it, and it would give him a decent chance of scoring too. So sometimes the best way to beat him is to beat him. And so Rylan Kleider will try to beat Colton Lott to that spot and come around that center guard. Good, pretty 
good odds. Line's there. good. So I'd be easy with these. Pretty good odds. Okay, line's real good, good guys. Odds. Line's good. Line's good. Oh, good over curl. Good over curl. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Hard. Hard, hard line. Hard, hard line. Hard, hard, hard. Hard. Hard, guys. Hard. Keep it going, man. Yeah, curl, curl it. Yes, that just yes, gets yes, by the center hard, guard. Hard, 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 hard. hard, 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 hard. A good shot there from Kleider. I think the sweepers thought they missed it. <laughs> they kind of came off it near the guard, figuring that they had missed the shot and they get by it by a whisker. Yeah. <laughs> you can see there are both the sweepers right off it at the guard. But a nice finish there from Trevor Johnson and that rock is well over buried. Should be close, I think. Try to roll it under the yellow. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it just goes. Yeah. So Colton Lott gonna try to navigate the port here. Oh. And it is not big. Yep, yep, yep. Hard. Gone. Well close. Curl, 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 curl. Straight, curl, curl, curl. curl. Oh. curl. Straight, straight. <laughs> well, if you can't get through the port, then make it the other way. That is uh a plan B if there ever was one with a capital B. Colton Lott trying to come through the port, it over curls and makes the perfect straight back tap. And so it is Manitoba lying too. Is crazy? Nope. I think that's pretty good. Because you, you can't curl much past that. Yeah. And we played a roll under the red. Does that look easier? I, I, don't, I don't think that's easier. Okay. Well, yeah. Because it's, it's going to be tough to hold it pa past this yellow, right? Well, if you're throwing eight, it shouldn't, it's not going to finish a ton. It shouldn't finish much, no. If you're seeing that, I don't hate that either, but... I think we just play it hard. Yeah, I think Even if you know it, maybe yeah, play it's, that hold. It's not, easy, not as gimme, right? Yeah. Just play eight. Like like just play eight. We're going to try to flop to the right. So after some discussion, the Saskatchewan team going to try to come through the port themselves here and a lot of pressure on this shot. If you don't get through the hole, then it's a draw for three for Manitoba and a tie game. So final stone Whoa. here for Ryland Kleider. Yo. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Yes. Whoa. Hard, hard, Whoa. Hard. Whoa. 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 And playing just a little bit more weight than Colton Lott was. Manages to get through the hole, but it will roll too far. Not bad. And so it's an open hit for two for Colton Lott. It's good. So final stone here for Colton Lott in the fourth. Down three, but with a great chance to claw two of those Wait. points back. Yep. Easy, clean, yep, 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 yep. yep. Hard. This is really oh, taking I off. Go. This is really Hard. taking off. But it will stay around. Great sweeping from Kyle Deering. Ryland Kleider can't drag it far enough. So two points for the team from Manitoba. 
But Saskatchewan will take a one-point lead and the hammer into the fourth end break. We're going to take a little break here ourselves. We'll be back in a couple minutes. are far from it. Canadian dairy farmers proudly meet some of the most stringent standards in the world, including the 42 food safety requirements set by our national quality program. We do it by working hard and by ensuring that every cow is monitored every day so that we can bring you high quality milk. High Canadian standards. That's dairy farming forward. Hi, I'm Mike Squires and I invite you to come down to SMP and see why we're Saskatchewan's number one Chevrolet dealer. We've been serving Saskatoon and surrounding areas for over 50 years. With over 400 new and used vehicles on the lot, SMP will have the vehicle you're looking for. We also have an amazing staff with hundreds of years of combined experience in sales, service, and collision repair to help you with all your automotive needs. Come visit us at 715 Circle Drive East or online at smpchev.ca. When you buy a lottery ticket in Saskatchewan, your money really goes a long way. More than 12,000 sport, culture, and recreation groups receive funding from Sask Lotteries every year. Hello, curling fans, and welcome back. Hope you're enjoying this excellent men's final between Manitoba and Saskatchewan. It is the SGI Canada Best of the West, presented by Sask Milk. John Cullen with you. Once again, the lonesome dove flying here, flying high. We've got four ends, maybe five left in this men's final. It's been a, a great tournament for Ryland Kleider. They've been undefeated to this point, and looking very good through the first four ends. Uh, they're up a point and got the hammer here in the fifth, so we'll see if they can keep that going here. shot there from Matthew Tyon. Both him and Emerson Klimke having excellent games. Every end getting set up really well for both teams. Emerson Klimke, longtime skip in the junior rankings, getting his feet wet in the men's game here. And not always an easy transition from skip to lead, but he's had a fantastic game here so far. flow too okay, does Emerson well. Klimke Curling, the blonde oh, locks out of the back of the hat it's a look that never gets old and a nice shot there indeed so Tyon will yeah. follow him down Still 
Line's gonna be okay though, line's good. It's all you now. Can't bounce on this line still. Pop out, pop out. So Tyon looking for the corner freeze. And he will find it. Great shot. So great pair of stones from both leads. Continuing their excellent play so far. It's like top eight weight. But top four. Team Manitoba would love to finish off their season with a win. This, of course, will be the last season for this team. Colton Lott moving on to play with the announced team. Matt Dunstone, BJ Newfeld, and Ryan Harnden. So it should be a very formidable squad out of Manitoba next year. Good. Nice shot. And nice shot there from Kyle Deering to the jiggle the angles a little bit. Yeah, a little bump's okay. It's about top eight. Little bump's okay here. So just looking to draw down into the pocket here is Trevor Johnson. Oh, it's good. Line's good. Puppy, Line's good. You can, line's good. You got room, room, room. Running good. Room, close. Still good, oh. Ryan. Wait's good. Line's good. Line's Do good. It. Still, still got room. No, still got room. Gotta go, gotta go. Okay, yep, then. Line's good. Yep, gotta go line now. Hard, Josh. This looks hard. really close. Hard, Josh, hard. Josh Mattern hard, trying hard. to hold it by that top red. He does. Really good shot from Trevor Johnson. And these angles are looking mighty fine for Saskatchewan one. Yeah, make that double. That was my first thought. Like quarter rock. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Yeah. I think so too. Quarter rock? Yeah. So chance here for Kyle Deering to get at the shot stone and make a slash double here. We've already seen so far this game, Kyle Deering's proficiency with hit weight. Made one of the best shots of all time back at the Canada Winter yep. Games. He was yep. all of about 110 Whoa. pounds and Whoa. made just an absolutely sensational shot that I probably couldn't even describe to you, but just Google Kyle Deering if you've never seen it before. It's one of the best curling shots you'll ever see. And a great shot there to get rid of the two Saskatchewan stones. Makes it look easy. And so that yellow in such a good spot there for Saskatchewan, they're just gonna peel the center guard. Mistake made there by Trevor Johnson. So we've seen an end where the first six shots all makes. And Tanner Lott now just will replace that guard. And no problem there from Tanner Lott. So they're going to try to make this shot right now, get rid of all three of these reds and leave the yellow there, which would set Saskatchewan up nicely for the blank. They would love to take the hammer with them into the sixth end. Yep. Yep. Hard. 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 And 
just doesn't quite hit those groupings of stone, hit the grouping of stones in the right spot. Josh Mattern just driving that red by, so it is Manitoba lying the one. Yeah, I don't really see what else. What? Doing what? This? No, 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 it's fine. Either we come here or we try to get the nose of this. Pop this back here. Uh, quarter, quarter. quarter. Hey, we can go hard for it and try to tap it back, but... Oh, we can get the draw here. Even if it's back here. Then he's playing that. He's playing the double. Like, it's not that great. Okay, then let's chase this. Try to get the nose. Uh, I, just that's back the line. only thing I see. I don't see us putting it in a good enough spot. That's like we're out of trouble. So. Are we throwing? Back line? Just back line. So they were debating about the draw or the hit and figuring there maybe wasn't really a great spot to put the draw. They're going to play just a back line, sort of back line hack weight takeout around this yes. center guard. Easy. Yep. And unfortunate there for Tanner Lott. Looked like the shot was made and potentially picked up something. So that just dramatically took off on them. So it ends up racking the guard and My now first box, the nose double. Maybe the nose, you said the nose? Opportunity That's now for Clyder. Yeah, really double actually too. Like just like this, right? Yeah, yeah. What kind of weight yep. do you like? I like that. Uh, normal up. Okay. Yeah. Just the out. Should run pretty pretty straight here, I think. So looking for the double yep. here is Josh Mattern. Hard. Hard. Whoa. So just not quite there for Josh Mattern. Got sort of caught in between. If it curls a little more, they make the double the other way. If they hold it a little straighter, it makes the double. So that was sort of the whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah. I think Ryle and Kleider halfway down figured they might have a chance to make yeah. it the other way. So Colton go, Lott looking really to try to get rid of this oh, shot stone. Really go. Kyle Deering trying to get it by this top yellow. And he will, my goodness, great sweep from Kyle Deering. And it is Manitoba lying too. Yeah. And then he's gonna have to draw. He's gonna have to draw one in. 
Yeah, I think I don't think that's the call. I don't think so either. So yeah, I like that. Or or we make this. That, that was my other thought, yeah. Yeah, he's probably like, that's scary for him though. He's probably doing that. So sticking it up there. He might have to double for two. Like that? It's that or this one, I think. The only thing with that one is we won't be shot even, so. Yeah. Yeah, then he might just, yeah, and he might. I think it's not. You could roll to here even and be good. Well, that's not, that's not a good If he, like, that's not good. Yeah. If he right. runs his double, we'll have a blank then, too. Like, if he knows, yeah. I like that. I think right. this is, I think this is cool. Yeah. Okay, we saw the spot lost. Just like, I threw what, that 12? This is where, yeah, this is where you threw that 12. So just deciding which of these two Manitoba shot stones to hit. It's real close. And it seems like Kleider has elected to uh, I kinda do like 10. Yeah, hit the one on the T line and try to roll behind the two rocks at the top. Yeah. It's gonna be really tough to freeze around there too. Expect a bit of curl because we're a little wider now. So Ryland Kleider facing two has the hammer here in the fifth, looking for a hit and roll. Whoa! Whoa! Roll then. Oh, then close. Oh, oh Matt. Hard, Matt. Hard for anything. And that is going to roll to nowhere. It is shot stone, though, so Lot will have to deal with it, but. It still ran pretty good, though. Good opportunity here for Manitoba to get a force. Okay. Oh, that's why he's over here. like a little more than what I gave you. It looks a little much. Oh. His didn't do anything crazy. So Colton Lott with his final stone just looking for the nose to lie to. as easy as you like from Colton Lott. So Ryland Kleider will make the same shot, needs just a little bit of a roll into the eight foot to count his single. You might be sitting at home wondering why you're not just drawing for one here and there's no obvious draw path with that corner guard up and when you're up one, you can never give up a steal of two. So if something were to go wrong here, usually you're still gonna at least make the takeout and you're only gonna give up one. So that's the reason for that. And it's a shot that Ryland Kleider just played, so he'll feel comfortable with it. So hit and roll here to pick up a point and take a two point oh, lead please, into the sixth. Oh, oh, clean, oh, clean, oh. Matt. This needs to curl. Hard, Matt. Hard, Matt. This needs right up, to right up, right up. curl, hard, 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 hard. and it will curl enough, I think. Yes, it will. So a single point for Ryland Kleider. Looked a little hairy halfway down, but in the end, it's good for one. So Kleider has a five to three lead, but Manitoba will have the hammer when we come back. You're watching the SGI Canada Best of the West.
be simple, but our methods are far from it. Canadian dairy farmers proudly meet some of the most stringent standards in the world, including the 42 food safety requirements set by our national quality program. We do it by working hard and by ensuring that every cow is monitored every day so that we can bring you high quality milk. High Canadian standards. That's dairy farming forward. Welcome back, curling fans. It is the SGI Canada really Best good. of the oh, West Men's oh, Final yeah. Manitoba oh, yeah. against Saskatchewan. Not taking and it's been an yet. excellent not game so far. Not curling yet. Ryland Kleider not able not to take advantage of a couple Manitoba not mistakes not Trim, for a three-point end in the third, and that is the difference right now as they're yep. up to... Pardon me. Yep, yep. But Colton Lott will enjoy having the hammer here in six and would love to pick up a two. And since this is the last game of the tournament, time to thank our sponsors here in this event. And we have a great deal of them. The title sponsor, we've been shouting them out all week, SGI Canada, proud to be a member of this community. The presenting sponsor is Sask Milk, Diamond sponsors Seacan Seeds and Sasktel, Platinum sponsors Cherry Insurance and EY, Gold is Big Steel Box and Prairie West Sales, Funding Partner, the Sask Lotteries, the On Ice Lounge, the beautiful sheet side lounge where we've got all these wonderful Ryland Kleider fans out there, presented by Great Western. We've got a bunch of silver sponsors, Saskatoon Co-op, Dakota Dunes Casino, Sterling Truck and Trailer, Corteva, RJ, C RJ Sales Wadena, CIM, and Cool Bet Canada. Our Hi, bronze man. sponsors are SMP, Delco okay. Water, okay. Tourism right. Sask, Warner Industries, and Matt three. Dunstone Mortgages. Geez, I wonder how he managed to sponsor this thing. Three. Three right now. Three we also have uh, three friends, uh, Inland Kenworth, yeah. Dar Transport, and Construction Trendle. Fasteners, and Trendle. our presenting Trendle. partners are Curl Trendle. Sask Trendle. and the Nutana Curling Club. Official uniform sponsors Dynasty Curling, the host hotel is Holiday Inn, and the sponsor of the volunteers is SGI Canada. We thank all of those sponsors for helping put on this fantastic event, the first of its kind. We hope to do many, many more. Thank you all for watching and tuning in, and we're going to get back to this men's final. And it's starting as most of these ends have with some great shots from Matt Tyon and Emerson Klimke. Klimke sitting at a sterling 95% and Tyon right behind him at 93 after five ends. So some great lead play and myself as a former career lead, simply love to see it. So Klimke looking to get through the hole here and put one around this corner guard and that's a really good spot for that one. So that percentage won't be going down. The key battle here remaining at third, Joshua Mattern curling 93% and Tanner Lott at 78. So that's really the, the big spread. The two skips quite close, 88% for Ryland Kleider, 85 for Lott and the two teams curling an excellent game, 86% for Team Kleider and 82% for Team Lott. So lots of shots being made out here on sheet seven at the Nutana Curling Club. Yeah. Good with that? Just through? Just make it. Just through? Yeah, just through. So Trevor Johnson looking to Clean. get through this hole and Clean. push that whoa, whoa. Manitoba stone out of the rings Clean. with backline weight. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Clean. Whoa. Girl, 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 girl. Hard curl, Maddie. Hard curl, hard curl. Oh, it's and a nice shot there from Johnson, but unfortunately it does just hang on the rings and rolls to a spot where a double's available. So Wait. one of those where yeah, I, we're almost half the roll. 98 percent of the way there to the shot you want. Just enough to get this one out. But just this one, I don't can't think we're quite get that red out. That's okay though, I think. I got three. 
Like, I think you need to throw board. So Kyle Deering will look to make a double and split the house here. needs to move need that red to stick around and it will not so rare miss on a hit from Kyle Deering you don't see that too often one of the better hitters on tour and now a chance for Saskatchewan to lie two without the hammer and speaking of SGI Canada sponsoring the volunteers we definitely have to give a great shout out to all the volunteers who help make this event possible a lot of people giving a lot of their time to make this inaugural Best of the West a success. My stats man, Daryl, everybody working downstairs and yep. helping out. It's been yep. truly a blessing yep. for everyone here in the organizing you, committee of Matt Dunstone, Thank Dustin you, McCush, and Rylan Kleider. So nice shot there for Trevor Johnson, and it is Saskatchewan lying two without the hammer here, playing the sixth. Yeah, speed. shot there from Kyle Deering just might have over curled slightly at the end okay. so similar to Trevor shot? Johnson's just one here? of those shots where it's about 98% of what you want and then just right at the end I think this is a safer call Jay. slight over curl What's that? you just got to move it basically out of out of third okay just go like back line okay sure if you take the guard and you're gonna spill right to here too yeah, the guard's not bad. They're like even. You have to take it to it's touch it. Buried, so we're going to hit it at most. Yeah. You almost you got. See it, you can see it on this side. Yeah. You almost got to nose on yours, though. We didn't get to nose on mine. We hit it eighth and it's stuck in the house. Yeah. Could just rip, too. Yeah, that's not it. Yeah. So I was looking it's at probably it, looking yeah. at two, then. They're going to. It's still I'm early, I guess. Here, though. I don't love the chase this way, though. No, I don't either. Could go here, too. <laughs> what do you think, Jay? Peel? I think it's, I think it's a wrap. Yeah. So some lengthy discussion about whether or not they wanted to go after this redstone just thrown by Kyle Deering, and in the end, they're going to peel the corner guard. Clean. Whoa. Clean. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Clean. Clean. It's so good. So shot made there for Josh Mattern and now Colton Lott will have to decide how he wants to tackle this. This seems to be the obvious call here, just to hit and roll and split the house. Board. Yep. 
nice shot there from Tanner Lott. So it is Manitoba now lying two with the hammer. And Ryland Kleider said if they peeled the guard, there was a, a chance that they were going to give up two. And certainly you'd think if Manitoba can make the rest of their shots the rest of the way, that that will be the case. Josh Mattern trying to get the roll underneath this hybrid center here. And just don't quite get the roll. Just didn't want to finish there. Kind of wait. On board? Okay. No, I want to roll. So if you're Tanner Lott, you'd probably like to roll to the outside here. Get close to that yellow stone. Don't want to set up a double or make the hit and roll any easier. So called an audible and <laughs> went for the quasi double instead, and that'll work out just fine for Team Lot. So like, it's gonna run the same. they are lying yeah, two and in yeah. control here in the sixth. Yep, yep, yep. So yep. Kleider oh. looking for a hit and whoa, roll yeah, here yeah, behind yeah. this guard. Whoa, 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 big roll. And won't quite get there. So two chances to make that roll and just can't quite make it either time. So same MO here for Colton Lott, just looking for a hit and roll to the wing. And if he makes it and lies too, it's tough to imagine Ryland Kleider having any sort of shot to not give up a deuce here. This is curling a little more than they thought it would. And so they don't get the roll they wanted and Kleider will have a chance now to perhaps make a hit and roll behind this guard and get himself out of this end. If he can roll this to buried, there's not really a path to two for Colton Lott here. So big shot here for Kleider. This is about the distance he rolled on his last one, did Rylan Kleider. So if he just copies that again, he'll be sitting pretty. So final stone for Rylan Kleider. Whoa, 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 whoa. Needs a roll whoa. here. Whoa. Matt. This is hanging. Hard Matt. Hard Matt. Hard Matt. Hard Matt. Really hard. And he is not going to get Matt. this hard, roll. Hard, hard, hard. So Colton Lott gave Ryland Kleider the opportunity, but wasn't able to take it. Yeah, and so it will be an open hit for two for Manitoba, and this would tie up the game. Yeah, a little full. Yeah. 
Yeah, just a bit on the release. Yeah. Yeah. Nice here, Bill. So final stone, Colton Lott. Open hit for two and the tie. Okay, then. Go, go then. Clean. Easy. Yep. Easy. Easy. Clean. Yep. 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 And he will make no mistake. Boy. So a very nice draw around the corner guard by Kyle Deering sets it up for Team Manitoba. And they knock it down, so it's going to be tied 5-5. Ryland Kleider will have the hammer in the seventh. When we come back, you're watching the SGI Canada Best of the West. Our roots might be simple, but our methods are far from it. Canadian dairy farmers proudly meet some of the most stringent standards in the world, including the 42 food safety requirements set by our national quality program. We do it by working hard and by ensuring that every cow is monitored every day so that we can bring you high quality milk. High Canadian standards. That's dairy farming forward. And here we have the SGI Canada and Sask Milk shot of the game. We go back to the third end. Ryland Kleider needed a slash and to hang the slash rock on for three. Gets by everything. Perfect weight. Perfect execution. And Ryland Kleider there with your SGI Canada shot of the game. SGI Canada, part of your community. So we are here in the seventh end. Colton Lott did get down three with that shot from Ryland Kleider, but they've slowly been clawing their way back in the game and they are all the way back now. It's tied 5-5. Five, five. Kleider will have the hammer here in seven and we've been talking about it all weekend, but if you're Ryland Kleider, you just wanna score two here or blank. And if you're Colton Lott, you'd love to force Kleider to one and have the hammer coming home down one. I mean, you'd also be happy with like stealing six or whatever, but you guys get my point. That's not gonna happen. So in the realm of possible consequences, that's what Colton Lott and Team Manitoba would be aiming for. Fight the four if we can. I think we're top oh, right now. Okay, line's perfect. Line's really good. It's all you guys. Just, Just top four. eight. Okay, 15 five. Yep. Fight the four, boys. Fight the four. Okay, take a peek. Take a peek now. Take a peek now. Just fight the four. Don't run. Really good spot, Matty. And so nice shot there from Matthew Tyon, continuing his excellent play. So Emerson Klimke will put up a second guard here. Now, normally in this instance, you'd see Klimke come into the house and freeze on that tie on stone. But as we said, for this Colton Lott team, the mission here is to force. You don't want to give your opposition a chance to blank. So putting the second guard up will help that situation. Okay, line's good, line's good. 
<laughs> this tournament operating uh, operating under slightly different rules as well. The in the eighth end and the extra end, you can't tick a center guard, so that might affect the team strategy a little bit. In that, if you're Clyder, you maybe might not be so upset if you take one. A steal might be a little bit more possible, given that that's the rule of this tournament. So something we'll keep an eye on here. I'm sure it's something that Clyder's thought about. And we saw that earlier with the doubles, that it ended up working out really well for Rock and Schmiemann. They needed three Little in the fight. eighth end and got it. Hard early. Hard. Four, three. Line's good. Room now. Line's really good. Four. Close though. Yep. 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 Three, three. Go line, Jay. Hard, Josh, hard. Hard. Okay, and so a rare miss there from Matt Tyon. He's had an excellent game. Uh, that one coming up just a little bit short, so that staggers the guards there. Good throw, Matt. That bad, man. That thing did not slide. Unless you want to try to get back here, Rubio. I don't mind freezing at first. I don't like the Elgin side is better speed, I think. We know this better, right? Eh? Yeah. yeah. Even if you stop here, it's fine. Here, can you just freeze it? Yeah. Yeah. Back yeah. So Kyle Deering gonna try to come around everything here. He's been much more locked in on his draw weight here in the second half. continue here a very nice weight control from Kyle Deering didn't quite finish as much as they were hoping for but it's still mostly buried yeah okay this is the call so again if this were earlier in the game you might see Clyder chase that Kyle Deering stone but they'd love to potentially keep the blank alive. So electing to peel the center guard here. Yep, yep, yes! Yep. Hard, 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 hard! And nice shot there from Trevor Johnson. Gets rid of everything on the forefoot. Unfortunately, it does roll that lot stone buried behind the corner guard. Four, So an open draw here for Kyle Deering, looking to come around the center guard and lie to. Okay, my apologies. I thought he was coming around, but looked like they were trying to throw a center guard and just went uh, a little short, or sorry, a little long, rather. Oh, that way, yeah, oh yeah. But it is Manitoba lying too. Yeah, that way or this way, and then it's coming back to there. Yeah. Where are you going to straight? Are a lot different. I think this way is just going to crowd the middle, so I'd rather play it this way. 
So still trying to chase the blank no, here is one. Saskatchewan. They're going to have Trevor Johnson try to make a double peel and run the yellow into the house onto that red. Gets it the other way, pushes the red stone out into the open, but does leave his own yellow in front of the house. So not exactly the shot that was called, but not a terrible result. That one in. I don't want to hook it. He hits and rolls under. What do you like? We can't hook it. Nose, nose top on this one? He's gonna watch and we don't give him a double back, right? Well, that's what he's doing, yeah. What, what, what happens if we throw a guard on this one? Like on, on this yellow? <laughs> I, I, that's, guard, that was kind of... Center line? What, do, what does he do? Well, I wasn't really... Didn't roll? Yeah, but he leaves us shot. I'm thinking so. I think he's just going to run it into this one. Yeah, okay. No. Okay. He's hitting. Is he going to be hitting and rolling the top one? We just wrap. Yeah, we just wrap. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I'm with it. So they've elected to guard here. That yellow one is not in the house, so it would effectively act as a double center here. And again, this is just all done in the service of trying to prevent Clyder from getting a blank. This one is on a tight line, though. They need this rock to slow down. No, 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 no. And that ended up in a great spot for Tanner Lott. It's still good, but it, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna force if we make that. Yeah, I mean we make we make even if we make this. Yeah, like I, that's, I think that's here. still a force. Pardon? I think if we make that, we're still not. We're that's still, still a force, force yeah. probably. Yeah. You might go around the yellow. Or Is it easiest to just draw here? Yeah. Easiest to just draw? Uh, I guess. It, why, why are we hitting the red? You make this, he's just gonna wrap everything. I don't yeah, think I don't think that's the call. Although he's gonna leave us a double, probably. I think either one is good. This one, this one he can freeze on us. Yeah. You like that you make, one? You make that, we won't. That, then he's, he, what if you made this? That's also decent, yeah, pretty good. He's coming right around no matter where we go, I think. Yeah, that's a thing, though. I think hey, that one's good? Like, I don't... Ten? Okay. Ten? Yeah. Should run pretty straight. So it was a lengthy debate about which of the stones to hit, where you wanted to end up, and as so often happens after these long discussions, you end up making your first call. Yep, yep, yep. This was Ryland's original instinct, yep. just to hit and roll behind everything. Hard, hard, but hard. this is really whoa, curling. Whoa, whoa, clean, whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 Trevor whoa. Johnson backed whoa. that up. That's good. A really nice shot from Josh Mattern. Excellent hit and roll. Well, we, 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 
offside button. So looking for a freeze here is Tanner Lott. If he can make this, the Manitoba rink is going to probably like their chances to force Clyder here. Need to get this around the center guard. And it will just stop short. So now for Ryland Kleider, chance to make the hit and roll here and really put some pressure on Manitoba. All of a sudden, a score of multiple really in the sights here for Saskatchewan. Love this inside roll here. And another very nice shot from Josh Mattern. And so it is Saskatchewan lying two with the hammer. Mattern's had himself a very nice game here. Uh, dangerously close to hitting the three. I, uh, it is. Like what you happens, get both what yellows what if you play if we, this. What happens if we tap this? Yeah, tap's good too. His yellow's hooked. It's not a bad shot. Or I try to do this, I guess. Well, if you do this, at least you open both sides of it, I guess, but. I open it. I open it up. They're splitting this. Yeah. I think we're tapping this. So they were talking about maybe trying to come down here and hitting this out, but you would lose your red here, you could do that. and then the worry is that Ryland Clyder would just come down, split this, and they're lying three. So in the end, they've decided just to tap up the red. They're not going to be able to get shot out of this, but just to try to outcount that stone that was just thrown by Josh Mattern. Again, for Manitoba, the end goal here would have been to force Clyder to one. So still just trying to find a way to do that. So first stone here for Colton Lott oh, yep. in the seventh. He's oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, 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 no. This looks like yeah, a yeah. lot of weight. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. And indeed it is just a little bit too much weight. Pokes that red into the open. And Clyder will have a chance to lie three. Just double check though, does he have anything off of that? I don't think no, so. I, How much air do you guys have here? Like nothing with any weight at all. Like it has to be like back, edge to it's probably like back line right again. Okay. I want the calls to just to walk. Yeah, you guys like I think that's I think that's it. Is this is his elbows, right? He's coming here. Pardon? Does he have anything with the rest? I don't think so. I don't so. think so. I think it's too tight. Like if you look at the camera, it's edge. He doesn't have anything with it. I don't mind the draw. I think this is it. He has no in off for sure, but. You always have that one. Sorry, right, buddy. There. So, often your instinct here might be to hit that red one and lie three. Clyder just nervous that if they do that, Colton Lott just comes down, freezes to their yellow, and they only get one. So the thought here is you make the freeze first, and then what does Colton Lott do? So good thought process here from Saskatchewan, and now it's up to Clyder to make it. Why 
That's good. Little, little lad, little lad, little lad. Line's good. Room. Line's good. Dog Line's curling good. at. Line's really good. So Line's Rylan good. Kleider Line's looking line. for the freeze Curly. here. He's got yeah, the hammer. No bounce on this line. No bounce. Can't bounce here. Trying to lie too. Take a look. Matthew Tyon trying to drag this over. Sit. Sit. And I think that's pretty good. Right on top of it was maybe a little heavier than they were hoping, but they are still lying too. Uh, yeah, I think so. So Colton Lott's just going to come down with back eight, back 12 weight and try to promote the yellow onto the button and move the yellow that's on the button out of the scoring area in an attempt to force Kleider here. But they might be rethinking that. Sometimes as a skip, you get down to the hack and you see something else. Yeah, you can, yeah. Right here. We got a third. I don't know if this one. If I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I ever roll off here, he's got a double right now. I think this is the probably best way that we can afford. This is, yeah, this is the fourth, yeah. So trying to decide here if they want to go hard for the triple or try for the force. And it looks like they've maybe elected to throw the triple, so they're going to try to come down here, hit basically right on this side of the of the rock come across the face of this yellow hit out this yellow bingo bango and then their two reds would be counting and would force Kleider to one so it is a, a risky proposition if you click the guard you're giving up three or four but if you get them all, you get the force you've been chasing all end. So huge shot here for Colton Lott. His final stone in the seventh end. Yes, 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 yes. Hard, hard, hard! Kyle Deering trying hard, to bring it back hard. out. Can they get by the top? They do, but unfortunately can't get across that yellow stone. And so it will be a hit for three for Ryland Kleider. Just could not get that yellow to move far enough. Colton Lott just maybe a little tight out of the hand. Kyle Deering tried to bring it back, but unfortunately wasn't meant to be for Manitoba. And now a massive opportunity for Saskatchewan. Final stone, Ryland Kleider with an open hit for three. Clean, clean. Easy. Yep. Yep. Clean. Oh, just, yep. 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 Can't hurt it. Right up, Matt. Can't hurt it. Right and up, Kleider, as he's done all night long, just so good, making no mistake. And you can hear the crowd. They love it here in Saskatoon. It is three for the boys in green. They'll take a commanding 8-5 to five lead into the final end.
Colton Lott will have the hammer when we come back. You're watching the SGI Canada Best of the West. When you buy a lottery ticket in Saskatchewan, your money really goes a long way. More than 12,000 sport, culture, and recreation groups receive funding from Sask Lotteries every year. curling fans and welcome back it is uh, a story of two ends really in this game it's Ryland Kleider and Saskatchewan one leading eight five but six of those eight points coming in two ends the third and the seventh being the keys here for the Saskatchewan team and they lead eight to five so it's going to be a long way back for the team from Winnipeg Beach they're gonna need a life raft here in the 10th, sorry, eighth end. It is my 10th game of the weekend, so I apologize for screwing up which end it is, but this Manitoba team playing really well, certainly not out of the possibility for them to get three. We saw Corinne Brown get three earlier this week to beat Beth Peterson in the eighth end. We saw Kelsey Rock and Danielle Schmiemann get three in the eighth end earlier this morning. So certainly not out of the question here for the team from Manitoba. A little bit. And it's again, just uh, the story of the back end for Saskatchewan, just playing absolutely phenomenal here yeah. in this final. <laughs> Joshua Mattern, the high man curling 95%. At the third position, Ryland Kleider at 91% after seven ends, compared to Tanner and Colton Lott, both curling 79. Stats are not always perfect, but when the stats match the scoreboard, you usually think they're probably telling a bit of a story, and this Saskatchewan team has been full value for this lead as they're curling 87% as a team. Thanks to Daryl for the stats. We said coming into this game, Ryland Kleider was the lowest ranked team in the men's field, or sorry, second lowest ranked team in the men's field. Colton Lott, the highest ranked team, but you wouldn't know it this afternoon. This Kleider team has been absolutely on point all game. So they'll just try to get their two corner guards up and see what they can make happen. Emerson Klimke is the, the high man across both teams, curling 96% through seven. I'm sitting next to his family. That's the clap you're hearing. And he made both of these shots, so I think that'll end up being a cool 97 for Emerson on the day. So this is a strategy a we've often seen. Usually when you have a team okay. up three line, with the hammer, line, 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 line. Okay. in the old days, you, you wouldn't see them oh, ever yeah. throw a guard. But in the days of the five rock rule, we're seeing it a lot more now as it just delays when Manitoba can get to these center stones. Although this one coming just a smidge deep for Trevor Johnson. Or 
just straight, play the top, roll, bump this into a pocket. Well, how much weight am I playing? Like, probably back line. The guard, the guards are too high. He's ripping, anyways. Well, you, then you, do you like hitting it just off noodles? Then split these. Okay. Yeah, fine. sure. I don't know what else. It's fine. Just throw it. It's fine. It's fine. You don't like wrapping anything. <laughs> this is what happens when you have two nice guys. They they can't truly just put their foot down, so they just talk about what they want to do for three minutes. So Colton Lott's concern was that the corner guards are too high. We've seen that the rocks really curl to the wings. And so his, his worry is that if you wrap around the guard, it's going to be easy for Kleider to chase it. So Colton Lott wanted to poke the yellow one back and maybe start to create a pocket for the redstones, and Kyle Deering wasn't a huge fan of that. So the two of them just uh, <laughs> tried to decide which, which to do. Kyle Deering ended up winning out, even though once he got what he wanted, he then told Colton that he could do whatever he wanted. So just two nice Winnipeg boys chatting it out but that will be I think pretty accessible here for Trevor Johnson but this is kind of what this was Kyle Deering's argument that Clyder's up three it doesn't really matter where you wrap it they're probably not going to chase it they can't afford to ever click the guard so probably the right call for Manitoba and this is the right call for Saskatchewan peeling this corner whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, clean, clean, clean. Come on, and a nice shot there from Trevor Johnson. And so another wrap in the cards here for Kyle Deering. So nothing from the sweepers here at all. Really need this one to slow down. This has to be biting. And it will stop in time to be fourth shot. So a little heavier than they would have wanted, but happy to make it count. So with those two rocks in the middle being in such a good position, Ryland Kleider comfortable not peeling the corner guard and going after this one in the house. Clean. Close. Clean. Yep. Clean. Yep. 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 This yes. is really curly. Hard. Hard for a piece. Hard. Hard. Hard, Trev. Hard. hard. Trevor hard. Johnson, hard. can he hold it? Just gets enough of I that red stone. I My goodness. Ryland Kleider said it was a good throw, so maybe just a tricky path or maybe a little less weight than they were expecting, but at the end of the day, doesn't matter. Got rid of it. There's no pictures on the scoreboard. That's what I always told myself. What's that? Pretty good. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah, we're all counting this top one. Okay. So right. Colton wanting his brother to draw around everything here. And these shots are just so tricky. As a curler, you so often try to draw above the tee line and that's what you dial your draw weight into. It's really difficult to get around everything and stay in the house. So Tanner Lott will have to truly dial into this one. He's made a lot of great shots this game. This strategy really came into favor after the 2005 Briar when Mark Dacey got three in the last end to beat Randy Furby. Bruce Lonis making the draw around the four, sorry, yes, four in the last end, not three. No, 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 no. Ryland's got it. Thanks, buddy. And so, nice shot there from Tanner Lott. Are we chasing it? Is this, this double just going to come right back there? Yep. It's either rip or chase, but I don't think the or chase do. helps us out much. something like that. Or is it, then it goes back on this. Or you mean with like Spider-Man? Yeah, you might just try to miss it though. I'm sorry, it was the 2004 Briar. Jeez, I gotta get my stuff. I gotta get my stuff together here. Could just draw here too. This they're just gonna start ripping a bit, but like ideally they're throwing hard on the next one if we can. Make that draw, those reds are gone. Yeah, you could you could just put another one in the house too. Yeah, those are I think those are off. off. Yeah, I think we well, asked him too. Yeah. Okay, see, I'm. I'm yeah. D okay. <laughs> just having a chat with my stats man, Daryl. So it wasn't four in the tenth end. I was right on the three. He was trying to tell me it was the 2004 Briar. And of course, I should remember that because Jay Peachy, my idol, was in the spiel. Yeah, I don't mind that. Daryl just kindly reminding me that he knew it was the 2004 Briar because he was there. Just a very casual. Yeah, you know, yeah, well, you know, I was there. It was in Saskatoon. It's no big deal. Yeah, just you want to play cute, right? I don't mind that. There's tons of there's tons of there's there's so much curl you use. Do you like that, Jay? Yeah. What weight do you like there? Just through. Oh, back line. Well, the thing is, though, that that's that, that's still going to be better than our yellow, though. Yeah, so it doesn't miss a ton. Not really. Hey, okay, if I peel, if I peel, what, if I peel, what are they going to do? If we peel, what are they going to do? Because what can they make good here, like that? You don't think they're trying to get the nose? They're trying to change the angle. Don't make her get in the nose, but you can try. And with what weight? Because nose doesn't nose doesn't help them either. No. Yeah. That's tough though. I think the peel's the call here. It should leave me. Let's, let's let them worry about the stuff in the middle, I think. So this is what happens when $10,000 is on the line for four guys who are under the age of 25. Starting to have these team meetings to think about how they're gonna spend that money. Maybe buy some real pants. Just kidding, I love their pants. They look great. So they decide to peel here. And I, I sort of agree with this strategy. I, I like the last thing Ryland Kleider said. Let let Colton Lott deal with the situation in the middle. You're still first and second Clean. shot. Clean. Yep, 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 yep. Clean. So they get rid of this corner. Nice shot from Joshua Mattern. Nice throw, Jeff. That's gonna be a long end. <laughs> it will be. That was, I think that was the call to not give up. Make what we call though. You can just yeah. Make, make, but yeah. This this goes in bad because if he does guard it, you can run. This is an emergency. If we don't roll that in, he hits the duck. Yeah. Then I gotta come around here.
So good scenario if you're Saskatchewan when you say, well, let's let the other team deal with the situation in the middle and they don't quite know how to deal with it. Yeah. That's always a good feeling. Tanner Lott made his shot really good, but the problem is you try to make any play on those yellows and you're likely losing that back one. We gotta try to roll this. Actually, it'd almost be nice if we even staggered. Hit this, not it here. Then this one here. Yeah, I think you had another. Even if it does go a little bit, I guess. It's going. Unless, unless we throw board. Board would be. No, I, I, I was seeing board. Okay. Can I use your. Yeah. That? Like over top into the no. I don't think so, Kyle. Just make this. I think, I think this is the shot. So they are gonna take a run at it here. Just trying to make the triple across the top is Tanner Lott. It is possible to miss that back red, but unlikely. But the idea here would be that you roll the shooter on the top of it. Okay, so not throwing peel weight, just throwing yep. board here, trying to jiggle these yep, yep, yellows yes. around. Hard. Hard. Hard! Uh. And this is going to over curl on them. And now it is Saskatchewan lying three. Well, uh. good job. He does have the, I think we should stick around though. Because he does have the square, right? Yeah, can. Real close. Looks minimum, I think. But. So electing to hit here is Rylan Kleider. Said he'd like to stick around. We'll stick around. Just in case. Just to try and take away the potential if they split that top one. This one, if they can hit and roll in a little bit, would outcount anything that Colton was able to split in. Okay, yep. Hard then. Yep. Hard. Clean. Yep. Hard. Yep. Whoa. Clean. Whoa. Whoa. So Whoa. looking for the Clean. hit and stick. Whoa. Yep. Yep. And Kleider will find it. So Saskatchewan lying three, up three without hammer. Colton Lott's going to need to find some sort of magic here. Try to, try to push. If I get it on this angle, Kyle, this is just jamming right in the air. Okay, if, I, if I end up tucking on like a quarter, a quarter off. Eh, well, I guess if I make that, I'm probably. Yeah, like normal. Like normal weight. What else you see? My nose. Uh, yeah, no, this is probably a shock. So the thought here is that Colton Lott's going to come down. Like it's probably going to go like this and sit here, which is probably going to help. Hit this, and he wants to roll right here. So that on his next one, if Rylan Kleider doesn't get his yellow in a good spot, if he makes this double, it will run this red back onto this yellow, and he would count three. Now, of course, they would need Ryland Kleider to essentially completely miss the house in order to make that happen. But it's their best bet at this point because those three rocks just almost directly in a row. No triple here at all. 
So just trying to give Rylan Kleider a little something to think about here, a little something to ponder if you can make the roll into the right spot. So first stone here for Colton Lott in the eighth. Easy! Easy, easy, easy! Pearl, close! 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 Straight, close. straight, yeah. straight! Hard! Hard! This is really curling. Can Kyle Deering hold it? He cannot. And Saskatchewan is lying three. I mean, I think if Rylan Kleider doesn't throw, I'm not sure how Colton Lott can win, but they'll uh, make it a formality here. Just a pinch more, Jay. Yeah, that's good. So final stone here for Ryland Kleider, and if he makes this red one go away, they will be crowned the first best of the West champions. Clean. Clean. Yep. 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 Hard. This is Hard. curling. Hard. Hard. Oh, Hard. boy. Hard. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, a stunned silence has fallen over the crowd. I didn't want to jinx Kleider, but I was a little confused by the call just simply because that, that, was, that could have happened. As I said, I think if he threw his rock into the boards, I'm not even sure that Lot had a shot for three. So, just a really unfortunate mistake there from Rylan Kleider. They've been in complete control this entire game. Up three. Peel out two of their own counting stones and cold Lot, against all odds, has an open shot to tie this game. Wow. I think even Colton Lott had to take about a full 30 seconds to process that he had a shot to tie this game. But in any case, he does, so just needs to get a little bit inside this yellow stone and we will be heading to an extra. Yep, 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 yep. And now this one is really easy, curling. Easy, easy. Oh, no, no, never mind. We're okay here. Hard curl, 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 hard curl. And they will just hit it by. So I hope you had the over. We are tied at eight, heading to the extra end. My goodness, Saskatchewan will have the hammer when we come back. You're watching the SGI Canada Best of the West men's final. Our roots might be simple, but our methods are far from it. Canadian dairy farmers proudly meet some of the most stringent standards in the world, including the 42 food safety requirements set by our national quality program. We do it by working hard and by ensuring that every cow is monitored every day so that we can bring you high quality milk. Canadian standards. That's dairy farming forward. Hi, I'm Mike Squires, and I invite you to come down to SMP and see why we're Saskatchewan's number one Chevrolet dealer. We've been serving Saskatoon and surrounding areas for over 50 years. With over 400 new and used vehicles on the lot, SMP will have the vehicle you're looking for. We also have an amazing staff with hundreds of years of combined experience in sales, service, collision repair to help you with all your automotive needs. 
Come visit us at 715 Circle Drive East or online at sfpchev.ca. When you buy a lottery ticket in Saskatchewan, your money really goes a long way. More than 12,000 sport, culture, and recreation groups receive funding from Sask Lotteries every year. We are back. We didn't think we would be here, but here we are. It is an extra end. We're tied at eight. Saskatchewan and Manitoba playing to be crowned SGI Canada's best of the West. And unfortunately for Emerson Klimke, this one doesn't quite get to the center line, so Saskatchewan will be able to play the tick. And if you're still processing that last end, don't worry, we are too. We'll see if Ryland Kleider can rebound here. They still have the hammer in the extra, so that's the positive, but certainly his shot in the last end had a tremendous opportunity to end the game. And that's a really good shot from Matthew Tyon. Talk about getting your affairs in order. You had the championship won and then lost it, and then you come back and make that unbelievable tick. Fantastic shot from the lead there. But yeah, I think I again, it was interesting. Ryland Kleider, they originally called the hit, and then Ryland sort of backed off a little bit and said, oh, maybe we, should, maybe we just lob one in here. We just yeah, no, throw a draw somewhere in here. Colton's not gonna have a shot for three and we win. And it was Josh Mattern who said, no, I think the hit's the shot. We just come through this hole, make the hit, no big deal. And yeah. so they Sorry. they tried it. It overcurled and took out two of their own. And it allowed Colton Lott the open hit for three. So here we are, but a great start for the team from Sutherland Curling Club. Matt Tyon making a great little tap. Mine's good. Good. Okay. Top four. And I'm Emerson good. Klimke oh, hung yeah. this one just on the center line, so Tyon won't be able to repeat the feet just coming around the center guard here. Let it work. Real close. Real close. Line's perfect, boys. All you. Just like the four. 15-1. Your line's perfect. Just like the four. That's good. Even a little higher. Yep. Really good. Good shot, Maddie. Good shot. Like tight top 12. Okay, like it's. Well, what, what do you like? Wrapping, eh? What's that? Like just going in full four. Well, just worry unless, about unless we go back here. That's kind of, that was my first thought was going deep around, like back It's just, I don't, if he's, like, always, he's always gonna have an easy tap for one. Yeah, I'm just worried about him making the double peel, that's all. Do you ever like, well, let's say we can come this way and move it back and sit here. I'm not loving that side of the sheet. I know. So, we could do your original. Like you want it right in line. I was just concerned about a double peel. And then it's... Do you ever like draw and just right beside it? What's that? Yeah. You want to just sit I like beside, beside it, it and if it's a little heavy, like I don't mind going right back there. more, like losing it under there. Yeah. 
but yeah, even's pretty good. So Kyle Deering gonna come around everything to the back four here. shot there from Kyle Deering. I think Rylan Kleider forgot they could peel that one for a second. So Trevor Johnson will rip here. Actually, <laughs> maybe didn't work out the best for Trevor Johnson there as they roll another Manitoba counter into yeah. the rings. Straight guard the red. Yeah, like letting center. When you can. Yeah, you gotta go. So Deering just looking for the guard here. Hard, keep going. Keep going, 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 keep going all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Okay. And nice shot there from Deering. So gonna make the tap yep. up here is Trevor Johnson. Yep, yep, right to it, yep, yep. Hard, this hard, is hard, really curling. Hard, 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 hard. Josh Mattern hold it, he it's can. It's nice shot, dude. And that's actually a really good result for Trevor Johnson. Saskatchewan lies shot. So Tanner Lott looking to draw around everything oh, here. And not bad there from Tanner Lott. Would have liked that a little bit deeper nice though. So it'll be appeal now for Josh Mattern. the double for fun so very nice shot there from Josh Mattern and Saskatchewan looking pretty good here with the hammer in the extra I didn't really see, yeah Are you going to 
hold it out there if you can. No. Just half, okay. Just here. Yeah, you can finish it. So Tanner Lott looking for the guard here. Yep, yep, keep it moving. Yep, 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 Okay, pretty good. Okay, that's good. Good for And Josh Mattern will rip it. And no mistake there from the Saskatchewan third. Good pair, dude. Nice Dawson. So Colton Lott will replace the guard here. After a lot of talking and furious action in the eighth end, this end a little bit more straightforward. Yeah, you go a little line. Line's good. A little bit line. Make sure it's okay. Line's good. Line's good. Does, doesn't need to curl. Doesn't need to curl, guys. Get it half. You gotta yep, get it half. Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's good. That's, that's good, good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And good shot there from Colton Lott. And Ryland Kleider will peel it. So Lott will have a choice to make on his last one. I don't even know how much yet. So Ryland Kleider's first here in the extra, just looking for the peel. Clean. 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 And we'll make no mistake there. So we are down to the final skip stones here in the extra end. We are tied 8-8. Eight, eight. It's been a truly back and forth affair here between Either Manitoba and Saskatchewan. This here, then he's got the same top. Or This is the best, this is the best shot. Yeah, no, that's the best. I thought. Uh, yeah, I like that. Even, you know, even if I rub. Yeah. Okay, rub as long as we're... Here like and that? That? It's hard. I mean, are you... No, I like this. I think this is a game winning shot right here. I think this is our best way of stealing. Yeah. As long as he doesn't have the nose down. Because he's, he's, he's kind of hooked here a little bit. He is. Just, yeah, I know. The, no, cool. the nose, the nose double is... They've played so many of those here too. Yeah. But they, they like, no, like, I, I, if he's gonna play this, I want him to be playing a, a, a top. Yeah. Because their hits, they've been playing them here in the top. Yeah. Or we just hit it. Yeah, if you're ever, we just look, we need to be perfect nose. I know. I think we make this for doing really good. So there was a lot of discussion there. Obviously, a few different options here for Colton Lott. You could just hit the yellow out and have Ryland maybe draw if you make it roll perfect to the nose, or 
you know, make him make a hit and he's got to stay exactly in order to win. Uh, you could also tap your own red up, but they're just nervous that any sort of tap would lead to either an easy doubling of the reds or an easy tap up of their own yellow. So they've decided that they're just going to draw a side of the forefoot so that there's no angle for Kleider to make a double or at least a difficult angle for him to make it. So the ideal spot, they're just trying to end up right here. So final stone for Colton Lott. Has an exact idea of where he wants to put this. We'll see if he can do it. Fine. Yeah, line. Line's fine. Yeah, line. Play the weight. Yeah, Play line. the weight. Room. Easy. Tons of room. Easy. Line's good. So it's they good. want this it's above good. the T, just no, no, fully no, no, in the no, forefoot. No, 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 no. And that will go a little further than they were hoping, but it is still Manitoba lying two. So Kleider could draw here, or he can play the double. It's dealer's choice, really, or tap his own. I like the top. I kind of like the top. It's a classic skip third dynamic there, Josh. Well, I think I like the tap the least. Rylan, I see the tap. Actually, let's go with Ed. And Ryland says, Josh, sorry, says, yeah, okay. Well, you like the tap, then let's play the tap. It's really in this situation all about what the skip sees. And this is kind of what Colton Lott was actually alluding to, talking about how Ryland Kleider had played down this side of the sheet quite a number of times and felt very familiar with it. And Colton was obviously on to something since Ryland Kleider is going to come down this side of the sheet. He just needs to move his own yellow stone about two rocks back into the forefoot and full forefoot would seal the championship for the hometown squad. So final stone, Ryland Kleider, 8-8. Eight, eight. Looking to secure the all important ninth point. Room, room. Easy. Looking for a Line's tap. Good. Clean. Look, clean. Line's good. Line is good. Oh, if you need to for weight. Line's good. Just yep. need to make sure the Line's weight good. is there. Johnson and Tyon are on Hard. it. Line is perfect. Hard. Does it have Hard. enough Hard. weight? Hard. The crowd Hard. urging them on. Do they Hard. have enough? They do. The boys in green winning a pile of green. Another fantastic sweep from Johnson and Tyon. And a great win for the boys from Saskatchewan. Not easy to come back from giving up that three in the in the eighth. But the ninth end did it, and the Saskatchewan crowd loves it. Look at this sweep. Johnson and Tyon all over it. Kleider moves it just far enough. And Team Saskatchewan are your inaugural SGI Canada Best of the West champions. They'll take home the trophy and the $10,000 check. Rylan Kleider, Joshua Mattern, Matthew Tyon, Trevor Johnson. Congrats to them and also a great effort for the boys from the Winnipeg Beach Curling Club, Colton Lott. Fantastic grind all the way through. What a game. Thanks everybody for joining us, whether it was on the Curling Canada or Curling Zone YouTube pages. We appreciate you being here with us all weekend long. For Daryl, the IKS crew, the organizing committee here in Saskatoon, I'm John Cullen. Enjoy the rest of your night. Goodbye.